hello guys my name is abiola once again and i know it's been a while since i came up on here but i've been a bit busy and i'm sorry anyway i'll make my content more consistent from now on now to the video i got a lot of questions about my first video you know the one about the certification and i thought let me make another video to clarify so first off if you're an img and you want to practice in the us you need to be certified by ecfmg and for ecfmg certification the, the requirements used to be pass step one pass step two ck pass step two C cs graduate and from ecfmg certified medical school as listed in the world directory of medical school then you pass an english proficiency exam but recently two changes have been made one starting january 2024 the accreditation of medical schools will now be done by the World Directory of Medical Education WFME, which is a popular one, and NCFMEA, which is not as popular. But any one of these two organizations can certify your medical school. Note that I said from January 2024. So let's focus on WFME now. The WFME, because they cannot go to every country and every school to certify their medical school, delegated it to regional organizations. Now, basically, what they did is they recognized different bodies in different regions to act on their behalf to certify medical schools so if that medical school is certified by that agency then they will automatically certify that university so it's like an indirect thing you understand blink twice if you understand now to know which agency is in charge of region where your medical school is situated you need to go to the wfme website let me walk you through it now getting into their website we can obviously see a map that is supposed to represent the whole world these dark blue regions already have agencies recognized by WFME. The regions in light blue have applied and are waiting for recognition. And those that are white or gray or whatever color this is, are those that have not applied and don't have anybody recognized by the WFME. You can see here that places like Nigeria and most of Africa are included in these regions. Note that this doesn't represent where you are from or where you are residing. It only represents where you have done your medical education. Like I'm Nigerian, I'm studying here in Russia. Now, if your region is represented in the dark blue areas, let's just say dark blue because I'm sorry, I'm not good with colors. Now, what you need to do is scroll down and search the organization that is recognized by the WFME for that region. For example, Russia. Here we can see it's the International Agency for, let's just say IAAR. Click on their link and follow up. On their website searching the iar website was really really complicated but i found out that only about seven schools have been accredited from russia anyway the point here is that if you are studying in russia and your school is not listed among any of these seven schools that means you will not be eligible for accreditation by ES ecfmg until your school decides to do writing by registering with this association and getting accredited so solution in this case is to force your school to get themselves accredited by iar or transfer out of the school to one of these schools that is if it's already after january 1st 2024 and you've not started the registration process yet the other solution in this case if it is not yet 2024 and you are already in medical school which is the one I prefer and I went with is anyway. to start a registration process right now so that the present laws will apply to you and not the one after January 1st, 2024. If this is what you want to go by, what you need to do is to go to the website of the World Directory of Medical Schools, which the link will be below. Search out your school and check the sponsor note. There it should be stated that your school is sponsored by ECFMG. If that is there, then for now, you can beat the deadline, but you need to start the registration as soon as possible now let's say your school is listed there and then your the sponsor states that ecfmg recognizes your school you should know that there are two stages to ecfmg registration right now first you need to go to ecfmg website and request an id number understand me you do not need to think about the exam right now you do not need to think about step one step two whatever you need to do what you just need to do is get the registration process started let me say that again get the registration process started and like i said it's in two stages one go to their website which i'll put the link below to request for an id number it's not also it's quite easy you're not spending any amount just filling your details as it is in your passport and request the id number 
then they will mail your ID number. It is this ID number that you will use for the second step in the registration process. But this step costs $160. They will call you through notary cam and they will ask you basic questions about yourself. No, no worries, not, not um, a chemistry question or anatomy question, it's just questions about yourself. Like, don't look at your passport, state your, state your date of birth. Like, pretty questions about yourself. Which you should know if you are the one actually registering. And one more thing, you should actually dress appropriate because they will take a picture through your webcam and they will use that picture throughout your career. I had a white button shirt and a, and a tie on. A friend of mine had his lab coat. But whatever you want, but don't just dress inappropriately, you know. And if you do, as long as you don't mind looking like that. But just dress appropriately. It's easy. Now it is this information that they will use to process your one from 186. And I want to make a correction from my last video. I said you send your send one from 186 to ECFMG. No, Notary Cam will send it by themselves to, to ECFMG, so you don't need to do anything. The other form that you will be sending is the one from 183. You don't need to worry about that now until you want to do your SME step one. I may be making a video later about the form 183 and processing for the step one exam itself. But for now, focus. You don't need to do anything. Notary Cam will send the form 186 to ECFMG. They will also send you a copy. Then immediately, ECFMG will send you a mail that they have received the, the form. It could take a day, but I think immediately. They will send you a mail that they received the form and are processing it. Once they finish their processing work, they should send you another mail that they have accepted it. And once you get this mail, then you are good. The mail will tell you that you have started the registration and it applies indefinitely. Some people say five years, some people say six years, but in the mail, it is stated there that this registration process is indefinite. Some will tell you five years, some will say seven years, but I personally think that it is forever. You are safe, I think. The rules that will apply to you are the rules before 2024 indefinitely. Now, the second change has to do with the step two CS. You know, before they used to use the step two CS, but they canceled it because of agitation and people complaining about the price and what not so they have replaced that with the pathway system. so for this we'll be addressing that in the next in another video for you as a medical student or one who has not even done step one you don't need to worry yourself now about the step two cs or the pathways all you need to do now is check if your medical school is accredited by ecfmg and if you are not in the medical school right now i would advise that you go to one that is already accredited ECFMG or one of his surrogate organizations but if you are already in medical school it doesn't matter which year you are first year or whatever you need to do this as quickly as possible or if you are going to be getting into medical school by September I think you are still you can still able to beat the time if you if you do it as quickly as possible so I hope this video is able to answer most of your questions about the first video or if you heard about 2024 rule and then you're panicking i hope this video is able to help you please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and please follow me on social media twitter instagram and if you still have questions you can go ahead and put it in the comment section i read all the comments and i'll answer you as quickly as possible or you can also mail me whatever you feel is right you can even ask me on twitter or instagram i will definitely answer you that's so that's it for this video Stay tuned for the next video in which I'm thinking of doing a series about the step one, the materials and the study plan that I used and might be beneficial for you. And don't forget to relax as you study and take care of yourself. Bye.